Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my Week 3 NFL picks for the 2020 NFL season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. Very appreciate if you do that. I'm really trying to go to this channel. Very close to 300, so go ahead and do that. Week 3 NFL picks this week. Last week for Week 2, much better than Week 1. Week 1, we went 7-9 and nine here. Not good at all. But week two, 13 and three, I'll take that any day of the week. I thought last week was a pretty straightforward uh, week for picks. This week, not so much. There were some very tough games to pick. And we'll talk about those. And uh, basically, let's get into it. We'll start off with the Thursday night game Dolphins, Jaguars. This is to me kind of a tough pick right here because I still don't I still think that the Dolphins are not that bad of a football team. I think I overestimated them though. I will admit that, but I still think they're at least a competitive team. Uh the Jaguars though, they've been very surprising this year, in my opinion. They're a lot better than what I gave them credit for in, in, in the uh, preseason. I have them at two and fourteen. This is not a two and fourteen team. I didn't watch much of, much of your game against the Colts in week one, but I did watch every snap of the Tennessee Titans game because I am a Tennessee Titans fan. And uh, let me tell you something. They're a lot better than what I thought they were. They gave us a hell of a game there. Offensively, I I actually think Minshew might actually be the future quarterback there, believe it or not. Defensively, I still think they'll have some holes, obviously, but they'll still be building clearly. Um Went back and forth. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I'm going to go with the Jaguars in this one. I'll go uh, 23-17. I'll take the Jaguars by 6. Uh, and I think they go 2-1. and one. Surprise and start for the Jaguars. But, yeah, t I mean, if you're a Jaguars fan, you'll take 2-1 and one through your first three games. Trust me. Next game, Bears-Falcons. I'm picking the Bears. I refuse to pick the Falcons. That's the reason why I'm picking the Bears. I'll take the Bears in this one. I'll go 27-20 Bears and those in the ATL, but the Falcons, in my opinion, are just a disaster. Next game, Rams-Bills. This is a very tough game to pick here, in my opinion. I think both of these game teams are pretty even. I think this is a 50-50 game. I really like what I'm seeing from the Rams. Some people think that the Rams are a top-five team. Last year was clearly an aberration. I don't know if I would call them a top-five team, though. The Bills, you can tell Josh Allen clearly took a step forward. And um, they look like they're going to be, a, at the minimum, uh, competing with New England for that, for that uh, AFC East first-place spot. I went back and forth for the purposes of this video because in other in other groups in other groups I might go because I'm in several uh, picking groups off air I might not go with this pick but I'm gonna go with the Bills for the purposes of this video I'll go Buffalo Bills in this one I'll go classic game 27-24 Bills in this one primarily because they're the home team. Next game, Bengals Eagles, two zero and two teams right here. I like what I see from Joe Burrow, but I don't think he really has much around him yet in Cincinnati. Hopefully, they can start getting some things around him. The Cleveland Browns, uh, they beat the Bengals. I mean, excuse me, the not the, the Cleveland Browns. That's the game next. The Philadelphia Eagles, uh, they um obviously they lost to the Redskins, who we'll talk about next, and um. They went ahead and got ran out of the building by the Rams, their own building. A lot of people are picking the Eagles. I'm going to give the Eagles one more week here, but if they lose to the Bengals, it will be a rant on McD Sports 4 about the Eagles. But I'm going to give the Eagles the benefit out of the doubt that maybe they got unlucky against the Redskins and the Rams. We all know the, there's some people calling the Rams a top five team. The Rams are pretty good. I'm going to give them the benefit out of the doubt and just pick them for one more week. But I think this is going to be a very close game. I'm going to go Eagles 24-21 in this one. Next game, Redskins-Browns. To me, this is a 50-50 game right here. I mean, the Browns, Grant, they beat the Bengals, as I said a, few, a minute ago. But then they turned around and got ran out the building by the Ravens, even though the Ravens, a lot of people are saying that's their number one team, which I agree with. I think the Ravens are the top team in the NFL right now. So, I mean, maybe that's just uh, how good the Ravens are. Redskins, they beat the Eagles. Now, Grand, a lot of people uh, think that the Eagles suck, but then they went to hot Arizona and got ran out the building by them. So this is an interesting game right here. I think this is a 50-50 game. I am going to go with the Browns, though, because of the home team. I think they're better talented than the Redskins. I'll go Cleveland Browns 24-17 over the Redskins. Next game, Titans-Vikings. 
Call me a homer all you want. I'm picking the Tennessee Titans. I have not seen anything from the Vikings to make me believe that they will win this game. Now, Grant, it is Tennessee Titans fat. Usually the Titans, they are known to be to go up to places like Minnesota and and into stadiums or that have uh, bad teams playing in them that year. Like, for instance, they are known to go into Jacksonville and shit the bed. They, so, Granted, they could very well go into Minnesota and shit the bed, but I'm not going to say they do that because Kirk Cousins is scott awful. And I'm going to say the Tony's win this game. I'm going to say convincing fashion. I'm going to ride the ship here. I'll, I'll sink with the ship. I'll go Tony's in this one. I'm going to say we win this game 38 to 19. I think this game's not even going to be close. Give me the Tony's by 19 points. Next game Raiders Patriots. Uh, to me, this is kind of a 50-50 game as well. The Raiders are a lot better than what I thought they were going to be. I had them at 3-13 because I just thought that the division was too tough and they weren't really that good of a team. But they go up against the Patriots, probably the best one-and-one -one football team right now, the, the uh, New England Patriots, in my opinion. And I'm going to pick the, the uh, New England Patriots in this one. I think Cam has his way with this defense because I still don't think this defense is that good. I'm going to take the Patriots in this one. I'll go 26-17 Patriots. I'm going to be a bit bold and say they win this one by two possessions. Next game, Niners-Giants. Uh, the Niners' second string will beat the Giants. If you haven't heard, the Niners basically lost all of their first string. I don't know Jimmy Garoppolo is going to play. It doesn't matter if Mullins plays because the Niners will beat the Giants very easily. The Giants are one of the worst football teams in the, in the whole NFL. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Niners in this one to win. I'm not going to say they score more than like 35 because they have to back up in possibly, but I'm going to go 33 to 14 Niners. I'll take them by 19. Next game, Texans Steelers. Give me the Steelers in this one. Now, I'm going to say this. We haven't had a fair shot to evaluate the Houston Texans because week one lost to Kansas City, week two lost to the Ravens. Those are two of the top five teams in the NFL. The Steelers are definitely a top ten team in my opinion, and they're going to lose to them on the road. So I don't think the, the Texans being 0-3, and kind of pains me to say this as a Tony's fan, I don't think we have, we have really got a fair shot to evaluate them yet. Uh, they have a very tough uh, start to the schedule with the games, and I think they lose this one. Um, I do think this game is going to be competitive, though. I'm going to go Steelers 31-21. I'll take the Steelers by 10 in this one. Next game, Jets-Colts. Uh, give me the Colts in this one. Uh, I don't think the Colts are really that good of a football team from what I've seen so far. The Jets are just god-awful. Uh, Adam Gates needs to go. And I'm picking the Colts in this one. I'm going to say they win this game 30-17. to I'll take the Colts by 13 in this one. Next game, Panthers-Chargers. Uh, Chargers, I don't know if they're going to be starting uh, Justin Herbert or not. The Panthers are really not that good of a football team. I think they're hanging in the right direction, though. Uh, the reason why Tyrod Taylor had an injury with his heart was actually because they accidentally punctured one of his lungs when taking a shot for a pain uh, to for a, a painkiller shot or whatever. So now the NFL is investigating that. And uh, Anthony Lynn, I do not like the statement he made. I thought Justin Herbert played lights out against Kansas City, but then he, Anthony Lynn he comes out and says, "Well, if Tyrod's healthy, we're gonna play him." And I like Tyrod Taylor. I think he should be a starting quarterback in this league. But that is not the right statement to make when you have a young quarterback like that on the bench that played lights out against Kansas City. Chargers will win this game no matter who starts the game, if it's uh, Tyrod or uh, Justin Herbert, and they'll win this game by about two to three touchdowns, in my opinion. I'll go 35. I'll go 35, 16 Chargers in this one. I'll take the Chargers by 19. Taking a lot of teams by 19 points. Kind of interesting. Next game, Cowboy Seahawks. Give me the give me the uh, Seahawks in this one. This game's your Fox game of the week, not my game game of the week though. My game of the week, just to give you a heads up, is on Monday Night Football, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, Seahawks in this one by at least two touchdowns. The Cowboys, I'm gonna be honest with you, they might be the best team in the NFC East, but they look like a six and ten team. Give me the Seahawks in this one. I'll go ahead and take them. I think they win very convincingly. They might hang 40-plus on the Cowboys, honestly. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and say they do that. I'll go 41 to 20 Seahawks. I'll take them by three touchdowns. Next game, Bucks broncos 
I am very tempted to take the upset here. I have not been really impressed with the Bucks. Brady has had issues in Denver. And I know Denver's running out their backup quarterback because Drew Locke's out for several weeks. But I want to say this. Um, Driscoll, Jeff Driscoll, very impressive against the Steelers. And I know the Broncos are 0-2, but I think they played two teams that were better than them, A. And B, they looked very good in both of those games. I watched both Broncos games from start to finish. Uh, I'm probably not going to be really be watching this one. Maybe I will to a point. I, I mean, I'm kind of leaning toward, towards uh, watching the Lions and Cardinals instead of the Bucks broncos I'm so tempted to take the upset pick here, but I just can't bring myself to it. I'm going to go ahead with the Bucks in this one. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll take them to win this game. I think they're going to struggle, though, because Denver does have a pretty good defense. But I think the Bucks win this one 28-14. Give me the Bucks by two touchdowns. But I would not be surprised if, and I know I'm taking the Bucks by two touchdowns, but I would not be surprised if the Broncos pull off the upset here. But I just can't bring myself to it. Um, let's see, next game here. Lions Cardinals. Give me the Cardinals in this one. They are so good. Um, they are a lot better than what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to kind of fall under the radar. Still be a decent team, but be 7-9 and nine because they're just in a really tough division. And let me tell you something. They are in a very tough division. All four teams I still think have a shot to make the playoffs in that division. But the Lions are just really not that good. Um, we saw that against the Packers. I'm going to go ahead and take the Cardinals in this one. I think the Cardinals score a lot of points on them. I'll go Cardinals. I'll go 37. I'll go 37 26 in this one. I'll take the Cardinals by 11 in this one. Next game, Packers Saints. Give me the Packers on the road. I don't know who's the favor in this one. Um, but uh, if the Pack, well. I wouldn't say that. I really don't have an upset this week because I kind of think these picks are most, mostly uh, straightforward. But give me the Packers in this one. I am not impressed with the Saints at all right now. Matter of fact, I think the Saints have issues uh, as, as long as Michael Thomas is out. And I just like how the Packers are clicking. I think they are a top five team, the Packers. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Packers in this one. Kind of a shootout, but I'll go ahead and take the Packers. I'll say 38 to 32. I'll take the Packers by six in this one. I cannot wait for this one on Sunday night. And this is and uh this Monday night football game here is my game of the week. The game of the week is on Monday on uh, Monday night football. And good job ESPN. I've been saying for the past uh, year or so that ESPN and they want to make Monday night football better. They got to go out and get some better games. And this is a pretty good game to get if you're Monday night football Chiefs Ravens. I'm going to go with the upset, though. I'm picking the Chiefs, and you might be stunned by this, but I'm going to go ahead and pick the Chiefs because the Ravens are going to lose some games. and I mean, not some games. They're going to lose a few games, in my opinion. They're not going 16-0, and this will be a good game to go ahead and pick them to lose. Give me the Chiefs in this one. I'll take the Chiefs to win this one. And I'm not going to say a shootout, but a back-and-forth game. I'll go... I'll go 30. I think it'll be a bit of a rear game. I'll go 32 to 29 Chiefs. I'll take them by a field goal. So I'll type in right now 32 29 Chiefs in that one. So those are my picks. My lock of the week, by the way, is Niners Giants, just to give you a heads up. So no upset. Well, my upset is actually going to be the Chiefs Ravens. I'll call that my upset of the week Chiefs Ravens. Lock of the week, obviously, I'm going to go Niners-Giants. That's my lock of the week. And basically, it should be a great week of football. I think we have a lot of interesting games this week. And hopefully, um, we get a good week of football. Uh, in the NFL on Thursday, Sunday, and Monday, uh, college football picks will be out later tonight. Um, I can't wait to film that video. Tomorrow, uh, if you've been noticing, I've been filming videos about calling Max Kellman an, an idiot. Now I'm going to call someone else an idiot as well. Uh, so can't wait to film that one either because I have a, a lot to say about this person. But thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe. McD the Beast signing off. Go Titans.